So it turns out that you guys really don't know what a burn CD is. So allow me, an elder, to educate you. Burn CDs were essentially the millennial version of a playlist, except for they were on a physical disc, a CD, because we didn't have internet music. Actually, no, that's not true. We did have internet music, but it was not streamed from Spotify because that didn't exist. It was illegally downloaded from Napster or LimeWire or Kazaa, which were file sharing services online where you could literally download files directly from someone else's computer. So you were quite literally downloading something onto your device from somebody else's device who you didn't know, a stranger on the internet. As you can imagine, that was not the safest thing, but we didn't care. So we were out there just totally risking the family computer, which by the way, was a big clunky box that sat on a big clunky desk, probably in the corner of your family room or maybe dining room. And it was shared amongst the entire family. And we risked it all to illegally download these songs onto the family computer so that we could then burn them onto a CD in a little mix. The actual process of burning the CD was quite quite involved because first of all, you had to download the music that took forever because this is like ancient dial up internet where your computer would like, ah, ah, you know, make those noises in order to connect to the internet. It wasn't just like always connected. So on this ancient form of internet, it took forever to download the song. Sometimes they would get to like 98% and fail. But once you got the music, then you had to have a specific CD burning thing on your computer and then you had to buy the blank cds which were very expensive and they came on this like big spool and they would sit next to your computer the exciting part was of course compiling your list so compiling the playlist you'd like put all the songs into the little program and then you'd put the blank cd into the computer and then you'd wait you would wait so long because just like downloading the music again this is primitive like 90s 2000s technology it took forever forever to get it on to the physical disc and then sometimes it would fail just like the downloads like you would wait so long for the music to go onto the cd and then you'd come back all excited ready to listen to your new mix like in your car or whatever and it would say failed and you would have to start over but once it did successfully burn then you would have your cd and you would have to decorate it i always also gave my name so we have spring break 07 with a little cocktail we have dance party road trip summer mix you get the idea and then at long last you would put it into a cd player and play your masterpiece cd mix